Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest of boxing if you want to become part of the gang. gang. Hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, the channel donation. And the Patreon patrons, we working. Now I'm on my Instagram, make sure you follow me at Boxing Ego. And I wanted to talk about Conor McGregor, Ego Weight Watcher style, AKA Ill, where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before after progress pictures, especially when they have that fight coming up. Now it's fight week, Conor McGregor looks like he's in crazy shape. I made a video about this earlier. He posted this and he says, wake up Floyd, it's all over. So basically alluding to a knockout this is he's doing a teeth whitening ad but this is the picture and this is him pretty much in his final form as it's fight week they're doing the grand arrivals tomorrow and conor mcgregor putting his caption the final rev of the engine on the conor mcgregor fast conditioning program tonight what a camp it has been and i gotta say he, he looks diesel he looks in shape even for 154 i mean the dude looks he looks like he's in good shape real good shape i wonder I don't know if it's just his frame, his upper body, his quads. I don't know. He just looks big. So I want to see how he makes weight. I don't know if he has any more weight to cut. But he's definitely bigger than Floyd. You can easily tell that by looking. And from the looks of it, it looks like he's at a good camp. Now, the other thing I give credit to Conor McGregor for, again, he's stepping outside of his own comfort zone. Like, granted, he's going to make millions of dollars that he couldn't. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to make this amount of money with anybody else in the UFC so he's fighting Floyd he's stepping out of his comfort zone and he's at least from everything I've heard in interviews and from seeing him in shape it looks like he's definitely taking it serious and I mean that's all we could ask can he beat TBE or a boxer like Mayweather I mean we're gonna have to find out August 26 I think Floyd will beat him that's just my opinion I've been on record saying that but I give him credit for at least, like I said, everything he's he's showing us looks like he took camp serious, and that's all we could ask of a guy who's coming out of his his routine sport to compete in what could be one of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight ever. And then Conor McGregor in his caption said, "Long rangey, dangerous motherfucker." So <laughs> I give it to him. His confidence is definitely up there. He doesn't seem to be. Like, no, no one sent him the memo about Floyd being the great boxer, unless that's what he's doing to psych himself up and he really has doubts that he's just not showing us. I don't know. And it says, full of Irish horsepower, I'm going to run you over. Now, I always tell you guys this, even though he's coming from a different sport, he's still a fighter. And anytime you're dealing with somebody who has the will to win, that's going to be harder. So Floyd, to me, is going to have to plant his feet and get some respect. From Conor McGregor just because his confidence seems to be so high he's talking about like he's Bruce Lee and he loosens the body and disconnects his limbs he, he's putting all this type of stuff out there and he seems extremely confident so Floyd will have to um, get some respect kind of like he did with the Madonna fight if you think about it Madonna treat see why Madonna I told people this back then the reason Madonna had success with Floyd Mayweather is because Madonna didn't act starstruck and he just kind of went after it if I get knocked out I get knocked out but I'm going down swinging and he had that mentality he didn't treat Floyd like a superstar he didn't get starstruck he didn't try to be cute in there and outbox Floyd like Canelo tried to do for whatever dumbass reason Canelo's way too big and a big puncher to the point where it didn't make sense for him to try to outbox Floyd and then before he knew it he was out of the fight and Floyd just took off you know he took the baton and started started um, lapping Connor or Canelo so Connor just has to be himself for his best chance and just all the unorthodox stuff and no one strikes like me that's what he's gonna have to do and he's gonna have to do something quick before the fight gets away from him that's just my thoughts but I, I salute him for being in shape and at least giving the public appearance that he's taking this fight serious. He looks like he's in killer shape. Um, he said he's worked on his cardio and left no st stone unturned. Only thing that I will say with this, with the whole cardio thing, is 
I heard Connor drinks. I don't know if that's true. I've seen pictures of him with alcohol. But even if you have a great a great camp, you know what I mean? It's still one camp. So we don't know what that cardio is going to look like, especially with somebody picking off shots and stabbing to the body and stuff like that. So you can have a phenomenal camp, but that's what these athletes have to understand. It's just like Ward Kovalev. It looked like Kovalev had a good camp. He hired a triathlon coach or Olympic coach or something, and he still got stopped. So we're going to find out. It's fight week. Let me know what you guys think. But salute to Conor McGregor for giving the appearance that he's taking it serious. He's in dumbass shape right now. He's buff and ripped to the gills. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.